Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me solving integrals. And today I have an integral that I found. And this question looks super interesting. So, why don't we just get into the question? Well, we have this integral and there's a bunch of powers, right? But the thing that's really that we really don't like is the cube root, right? So, um if we want things to get simpler inside of a cube root, then don't we want cubes inside of a cube root? Well, yes. So we can take these cube terms outside of the cube root, and maybe the inside will be a bit easier. So let's see how to make it. Well, it's equal to the integral of. Hmm. Well, x plus 1 squared can be written as x plus 1 cubed over x plus 1, right? So we can write it into that. And then x minus 1 to the power 4 already includes a x minus 1 to the power 3. So you can actually write it as x minus 1 to the power 3 times x minus 1. Right? Now look, we have x plus 1 cubed and x minus 1 cubed, and it's inside of a cube root. So we can take the terms outside of the cube root, and then it will become x plus 1 times x minus 1, which is x squared minus 1. So this is equal to the integral of outside would be x squared minus 1. And then the inside would be x minus 1 over x plus 1. Well, now we're going to do a super weird T sub, okay? And I'm not talking about Y stress formula. I'm just talking about U sub, but I'm using T. Well, I'm going to let T be equal to the cube root of X minus 1 over X plus 1. Well, why? Well, I'm going to show you because... The dt is actually super simple. Well, what do we do now? We can't really express x in terms of t, can we? Well, the thing that's annoying us is the cube root again. So, cube root is the same as raising this input to the power of one third. And there is one function that can bring this one third not on the power, but multiply. Well, it's ln, right? So, this implies that we should take ln on, on both sides. So, ln of t would be equal to, you can bring the one third to the front. So, it's one third times ln of the inside. And now, it's way easier to differentiate. So, why don't we use, so why don't we differentiate it? So, and there will be a chain rule, okay? So it's not only 1 over t, it will also be times the derivative of t, which is dt over dx. And this is equal to 1 third times, but the derivative of ln is the reciprocal. So it would be, the bottom is now x minus 1, and the top is x plus 1 times the chain rule, the derivative of this inside, which is, you use the quotient rule, so it is x plus 1 squared. And then remember, it's the derivative of the top first, and then we subtract with the derivative of the bottom. Well, not completely. So, quotient rule says, we take the derivative of the top, which is 1, multiplied by the bottom, which is x plus 1. So, it's just x plus 1 minus the derivative of the bottom times the top, which is x minus 1. Okay, well, 
Let's see. Look, there's a cancel. Very nice. Well, let's look at the top. X and X cancel, but one and one creates a two. So we know that one over t times dt over dx is equal to the denominator is three times x minus one times x plus one, which is x squared minus one, and the top is two. Hmm. Well, now this is kind of like there's kind of some differential equation vibes here. So we can multiply the dx to that side, and we can bring this two over three to this side. So we know that this on the left hand side will become the reciprocal of it now. So it would be three over two times this dt, and this is equal to. You we already multiply the dx to that side, so it's one over x squared minus one dx. Very nice. Now look. In our original integral, we see we have one over x squared minus one dx, which is that. So one over x squared minus one dx is just equal to this. So the integral becomes. Integral of, like I said before, this 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 is just this. So three over two t, and then this is the t. Dt, right? I told you it'll be super simple. So this is equal to if you take out the three over two outside of the integral in your head, then you'll know that the integral of one over t squared is negative one over t. So The answer will be negative two t on the bottom and three on the top. And now we can plug back in t. So and t is equal to the cube root of x minus one over x plus one. And this is equal to negative three over two times the cube root of x minus one over x plus one. And let's make this three a bit more centered. And of course, don't forget the plus c. Isn't this solution just beautiful? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video and you like content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.